What's up, happy gamers? I'm happy the happy gamer, and since I'm such a liar, welcome back to Undertale. I say I'm such a liar because I said I was done with Undertale, but I want to do a neutral playthrough, and I don't want to leave you guys out of it. I think it'd be fun. You guys love my Undertale playthrough, at least a lot of you do, and so I, I don't want to leave you out of this. I'm going neutral this time, guys. We're going neutral. That means I can do whatever I want. Whatever I want. As long as it's not too far right or too far left, you know, too Republican or too Democratic. So this time I'm just going to the Independent Party. That's what I'm choosing this time. I've decided, I've just, I can't talk right now. I decided that my name is going to be NAFSA. Because it's one of the names that I'll get a unique response from. So here we go. NAFSA, short for NAFSA Blue. They're powerless to stop you. Why? Because my name is not NAFSA Blue. It's only NAFSA. So here we go. The Adventures of Napsta in a neutral playthrough of Undertale. Waking up like we normally do in the bed of flowers, just fell down into the underground. Little frisky man, little frisky Napsta. What's up, Flowey? You big jerk. You're gonna be a jerk. Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. The soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What does love stand for? Why love, of course. I'm spinning all over my computer screen, and it's sexy. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I will take no love from you, Flowey. Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. No thank you, little flowey butt. Flowey butt face, corn dog. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try that again, okay? How about no? Mm -mm. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run. Man, I miss this game. Hey, every time I'm not playing it, I just, I miss them so much. I miss them. I miss it so much. Such a fun game. Such a great world to be in. You know what's going on here, don't ya? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die! You evil pig! I want you to die, Flowey. Toriel's gonna save me, though, right about now, and it's gonna be amazing. See you later, buddy. For now, anyway. I literally mean see you later. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. All right, Toriel, I will follow you. Be fun to give all of the different characters voices for this playthrough. The shadow of the ruins, ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Yes, fully restored. Welcome to your new home. Oh, sorry. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you, educate you in the operation of the ruins. I say ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Alright. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Alright. Thank you for making it easy. I'm trying to stay in that voice. I need to not stay in that voice. Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay, I will do this. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stop for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. I will go ahead and talk to the dummy because Toriel asked if I would do that. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I wonder if you can solve it? Question mark. It's going to be a battle. I'm going to kill Froggit. I decided what I'm going to do my neutral playthrough is I'm gonna kill as much as I can without going total genocide and so that way I can gain experience 
grow, you know? Because I need to do that. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Just going along with tutorial. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and just battle as much as I can, get as much experience as I can, level up as much as I can without being totally genocide. That way it can still be neutral, and I think we'll be okay. And as far as the bosses go, I'm going to decide who I want to kill and who I do not want to kill. Puzzles seem a little da too dangerous for you now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh god. Oh my god, the end of the room. I can't do the end of the room. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Alright, if you guys wonder why I read all the text, it's so that the people who may read a little slower, nothing against you guys, and so that they know what is being said, so I can skip the text a little bit faster. A lot of people are like, don't read the text, we can read, but I, I th I'm thinking about everybody that can't read this fast, okay? I think it's, I think it's very sweet of me. Hello, this is Toriel. Have you, you have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Okay. Playfully cranking through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Well, let's roam around here and just battle some, shall we? What's up, Froggit? Bam! Hop hop. Bam! Can't stand this, can you? No, you can't. Let's give me some candy. It says take one, take a piece of candy, took a piece of candy, proceed to open the menu. Take one, take candy. Yes, you took more candy. How disgusting. Take one, take candy. Take another piece. Feel like the scum of the earth. I sure do. How about one more? Took too much, too fast. Candy spills onto the floor. Frog had hopped close. Hop, hop. I say hop, hop. You won! You earned 3 XP and 2 gold. Alright, we're at level 3 and I think that will do for now. We'll just stop there, because I don't want to ruin anything. I think level 3 is a good place to stop. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Yes. I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. I will get that cooked up right away. Hello, this is Toria. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. All right, let's do this. Toriel, leave me alone. You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking no reason at all? Blah. Click. Righty. Alrighty, righty, righty, right. There we go. This one. That one. Whoa there, partner. Hey. One more time. Oh, but come on. And you're gonna move back as usual. I'm gonna push you again. You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Uh -huh. well, hello there, safe point. Knowing the mouse one might day, leave its hole and get the cheese. Feels you with determination. What's up, Nesta? You and I are cousins now. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yes. Alright, so, I'm gonna leave Nabstabluke alive because I like Nabstabluke. 
He's he's awesome. So let's check him first. Snaps of Luke. Attack ten. Defense ten. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. I don't know if you are, man. Oh. There we go. A faint odor of ectoplasm permeates the vicinity. Um. Let's cheer. You gave Napster Luke a patient smile. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. You don't want to smile? You don't want to smile? Looks just a little bit better. Let's cheer him again. You told Napster Luke a little joke. He's crying on my face, yeah. Cheering seems to have improved Napster Luke's mood again. Let's cheer him again. Napster Luke wants to show you something. Let me try. Ooh, I call it Dapper Bluke. <laughs> do you like it? I do like it. Napster Bluke eagerly awaits your response. Cheer! Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Aw. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. I don't think that I worked it out that way the last time I played through this. Let's buy some stuff. Um, how about some cider? Yes. And a donut. We'll, we'll do a donut, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm Frisky Butt. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. Like your underwear. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, someday you might need to see something you really like. You want to leave room in your pockets for that. Like a toy knife I'm about to find, huh? Here, just a little bit anyway. <laughs> Making our way to Toriel's. Heading to Toriel's. My best friend. This switch right here. Let's switch it. It's sad that I already, like, have this so memorized because i played through it so many times, but I'm sure a lot of people do. So, let's press it. Mm, this one. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. It's the sound of the spikes going down. Let's go get our toy knife. That we're not going to use on Toriel because I like Toriel. Pretty much all my friends I had in the past this fruit, I'm going to have. Um, you know at the end of the game. I think, maybe. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. I'm coming, Toriel! I wasn't using her voice that I was doing. Do you smell that? I farted. Surprise, it is the butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here I have another surprise for you. Okay. This is it. Room of your own. I hope you like it. Rub my head. Please. Is something burning? Make yourself at home. Mm. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and in a disparity of sizes. Might as well. Look at these cool toys. Let's go ahead and go to bed. Wait for the pie. Give me some pie. Found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Toriel's diary. Read the circled passions? Yes. Blech. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the pages, blah, blah, blah. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean blah, 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 blah. Yep. Yep. Peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Such a scandal. Can't stop looking at the socks. Ah, the cactus, truly the most sundair of plants. Sundair, sorry. Just a regular old bucket of snails. What about this one? Nope, got nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> What's up, Toriel? How's it going, man? How's it going? For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. For some reason. There's some whites some white fur stuck in the drain. That's so gross. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Stovetop is very clean. Tori must use fire magic instead. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? This is your home now. Would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called Seven Teeth for Sale. How to Dex Runes. Uh, how about an exciting snail fact? You know what? Snails talk really slowly. Just kidding. Snails are talking. Interesting, yeah. How do I ask the runes? I have something to do. Say here. Just going through it so fast. This is just a part of the game that I played a lot more than the rest. You know, because of, like, hard mode and things like that. But you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. Ruins, sorry. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nope, I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave this place. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Sorry, but I'm going to try and stop you. You want to leave so badly? Humph. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. I will. I'm gonna have mercy on you because I like you, Toriel. I really do. Let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Awesome. Uh, spare. Oh, I forgot about that one. I'm gonna have to get used to all these attacks again. Oh! 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 <laughs> not very good. Monster candy! She's not doing very well right now, am I? Ah! More monster candy. Ah, I'm just not doing very well right now. This is terrible. Ah, doing terrible. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're trying to kill me. Attack or run away? No, I will not. You're my friend and I love you so much. What are you proving this way? I'm trying to think of something to say again, but nothing. Fight me or leave! You big butt face! Spider Donut. Oh, I forgot to equip the toy knife. Oh, well, I don't need it right now. Ah! Oh. Acting aloof. Stop it! I will not stop it, Toriel. You big mama. Big mama, that's what I like to call her. Stop looking at me that way. Am I making you feel terrible? Let's eat the pie. Looks through you. Go away! I will not go away. Did good on that one. Down here and up here. Dodging all this crap. Come on, we're done with this, Toriel. We're done. Ah, she's starting to give up. Yes! I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. 
promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Toriel, it's gonna be okay. Please go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? Why is her voice changing? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The rooms are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. <laughs> Truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Thank you, Toriel, for letting me go. Goodbye, my child. See you later. Have fun. Living your life by yourself. All right. We're making it out. Not making it out, but we're making it out. You know what I'm saying? About to meet Sans. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to put play... <laughs> so you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Froggit, Whimson, Vegetoid, Lukes, Megasp, Boltzma. Think about those names. Do you think any of those monsters have families? Do you think any of them have friends? This is a different dialogue. Each one could have been someone else's Toriel. Selfish brat. Somebody is dead because of you. It's how the neutral playthrough goes, buddy. It's just how it goes. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Don't know. There's a camera hidden in these bushes. I always wondered about that thing. It's a security camera. I'm gonna go ahead and walk over the branch because I don't normally. No. Oh, Alright. I usually dodge it. But the same thing happened. Sans. Come on, man. Here we go. He's on his way. Human. No, he, he didn't have that voice. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Whoopee cushion. The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. 
Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sanji, we're not helping you, lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. That's right. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sai! Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. That's right. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, their voices keep changing, but I don't care. Put a little more backbone into it. It's a good one. Those snowballs look like boobs. Okay, you can come out now. All right. Let me check these out. Hey, what's back here? Nothing back here. Just a couple of little snowballs. Snowballs, snow puffs. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of his stupid jokes or whatever he said. All right. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. All right, guys. Hope you're enjoying the neutral playthrough so far. This is going to be where I stop this first part. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope it made your day better. Better. Ugh. I'm having a trouble talking. I'm having a trouble talking. I just need to stop talking right now. Anyway, I hope it made your day better. I hope it made you smile. And if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, because I would like that. Comment, guys. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And of course, I will see you next time.